Well, I was going to ask you guys if you saw about the Nickelodeon stuff. Um, but also, I started uh, to watch your video, and then I'm like, I I want to watch. I, I don't want any spoilers. I want to watch this documentary. Yeah, I haven't watched. Yeah. I haven't had time to watch that documentary. Whole... Is yeah. is insane. I I don't know if I've told you guys. I I I went to um, high school with Jack DeSena, who was on all that at the time. When all this. Oh was really? Going on. Which character yeah. was he? You're saying his like real name? Who was he? He's you you see you seen Avatar? He's Sokka. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Who so was he, he was also he was also on all that. He was, he was no, he was on all that. Yeah, he was a cast member. I I have I not. Remember. I haven't talked to him about it. But like all of the things that like I mean I I have no like inside knowledge. But like all of the things that the documentary says are wild right they are in like the, the drake bell stuff especially with you know dealing with sa and 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 a lot of the horrific situations that happened and the worst thing is like nickelodeon being like well we had executives kind of interview like like review the footage so this documentary isn't 100 percent accurate doesn't make sense because like if you did then these situations would not have happened like we wouldn't be like, like even at the time there was complaints about this it's just wild to me that that even happened, but I was gonna I, talk it, about it. Also, stone toss. it really sucks because I had um Ren and Stimpy taken away from me when I found out that the creator Ren and Stimpy is just like a massive like pedo slash sexual abuser. I didn't know this. Yeah. I didn't know this. Yeah. I mean, the show oh, yeah. was already weird, but it was good to us as kids. But it was, it was hilarious. It was our. It, it was weird, you know. But yeah. it was, you know, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Ren and Stimpy oh. and Cow and Chicken but were both show, fucked up, but, but the, the guy who did Cow and Chicken isn't a fucking pedo. Like that's the that's the difference, mm. you know. But the show continued without him. They booted him when they rebooted the show. Like when they brought the show back, I think it was on like. And then, a, and then they Comedy rebooted Central the series entirely. I think with him later on for that other network. No, they they uh, they booted him. I'm pretty sure he. No, was no, no. They booted him on did. Nickelodeon, but the series came back as an like an X-rated cartoon for adults later yeah. on another network, and then they brought jo uh, John K back for that one. Even after I think all the like Spike. allegations. It was on Spike. Mm -hmm. Spike TV. That's thank you. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, but yeah, that that one was fucking that destroyed my childhood. Do I need another? All Nickelodeon is bad. All, all the cartoons, all the shows, yeah. everything is is, is nothing yeah. sacred. Like, but what's the it? live action stuff, right? All the live like at live action, like the real actors. It was the, it was a lot of the live action stuff with Dan Schneider, and it was the idea that like pretty much he would do. First off, he made it a bad work environment. Second off, there was a lot of um, the, it was horrendously sexist. Uh, some stuff I couldn't put in the video because it got copyrighted, but like there's a point mm -hmm. where one of the female writers was telling a story about um, her being in high school, um, and he said, hey, you know it would be great if you just bent over the chair like you're being sodomized right now. And she's like, I don't want to do that. I was like, no, 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 just do it. Just do it. And he kept egging her on, and she finally did it. And that that person that she, he did that to went on to be an executive producer on Modern Family. But like, so she also testifies in the documentary, but there's that uh there's multiple jokes on air that feel like cum shot jokes he would do other things in the office like he'd watch porn in the office he'd watch um he'd make horribly terrible jokes he tried this to is get dan schneider who did this this is dan schneider who did this right wow. is he still working in the industry or he, he, he did the ariana grande he's stuff kinda, he's too, right? but, the, but the thing about the documentary that's so interesting is it's one of those things where it's like I feel what's interesting about that is like a lot of people say that this is a Hollywood thing. I really do feel like it's a power dynamic thing. Yes. Like when when Schneider was confronted with what happened to Drake Bell, Drake Bell specifically said that Schneider was his biggest supporter on trying to get stuff against Pat. Like like Drake was super like magnanimous about Schneider because he was horrified that that happened. So I don't doubt that Schneider is probably apologetic, but he hasn't really accepted a full accountability. He, he put up this apology where he had like one of the, his former cast members who he was nice to come on and be like, Dan, that wasn't cool. That wasn't good. Also, you had the most diverse sets and it was such a softball apology that it just seems like you're not really accepting full accountability. I mean, that doesn't sound like even a softball apology. It sounds like a no apology. He did. Yeah. He did mm -hmm. apologize in the beginning. He did fully say like, "Hey, if I it, like the he gave like the the most like if you were to write out an apology that somebody's supposed to do, you know how we like all criticize apologies, like uh, the apology you're supposed to do to get some sort of like, okay, you're taking accountability. The first part of it has that and then for every other allegation that's important like how he was kind of shitty to certain black actors um how some of the jokes on his show were a little too adult or sexualized children in a way that shouldn't that shouldn't mm -hmm. have you yeah. know i know this is going on youtube i'm trying not to be annoying um but like some of those jokes doing that um 
he shied away from taking full accountability. Like, I don't know. Nobody informed me. But the whole point, the whole point of the documentary is that people did inform you and they got fired and they feel like that's why they got fired or got blackballed from the industry because they confronted you with it. And one of the reasons they felt that you were a terrible boss, because when they confronted you, you would get mad at them. Like you can't act like that's not part of the allegations that happened there. And it feels like he's mm. sidestepping them entirely to just make it about like, oh man, the stuff that happened to Drake is horrible. And I was a shitty boss. No, the stuff that happened to Drake is horrible. You're a shitty boss and you created the environment that that could have happened. And if you're horrified by that, of course, we're all horrified by it, but you have to take accountability before any of this goes away or heals. And to be honest, even Josh Peck is getting backlash yeah. today. But Josh Peck at least had the had the wherewithal to call Drake like before anybody got mad at him for his like TikToks or anything like that and be like, hey man, are you okay? We haven't talked in a while. Let's go through this, you know, and everything like that. Even Drake Bell saying that in a TikTok. Come on, man! Like, so, like, so who all is it? Is it just um the Drake and Josh? It's Drake Bell in the in the um actual documentary. Is there other other Nickelodeon stars, um child stars that are in the documentary? Not to spoil yeah. anything, but okay. Yes. So there are other people who are speaking up uh, um in it. And there's, there's one it person's episode, mother because. It, they is it yeah, episodic? And and everyone features a a, a different person, right? Oh, okay. Uh, no, it's it's episodic, but it features a different scenario. So, like the first episode, oh, I see. female writers on the Amanda show. It's it's overall. So, the first episode mm. features the female writers on the Amanda show. Second episode Amanda features Bynes. Amanda Bynes. Yeah, second episode features a lot of Dan's work on all that and the Amanda show post that period and how it led to certain things. And the third episode features is pretty much entirely about Drake Bell and the allegations that happened. And the fourth episode is i think the aftermath of those allegations and how they kind of panned out and that's also horrific um and i mean like I, again like it's just a it's a it's an example of so many th so many levers that are there to protect kids in this environment just failing one after the other it's not like there wasn't mechanisms to protect these kids there is that they, they were there but they weren't pulled at the right times when they needed to be pulled. Mm. And that's why it's so, so, that's why it's that's, so sad. They're talking about like that whole thing. They had to do those things also to level up in the industry. Um, it's not like, even that. It's not even that. It's just stuff like, I'm trying not to spoil it so you guys could enjoy okay. it when you see it. Yeah. Okay. But not to enjoy it, but to at least digest it. Cause I feel like if you, if you, if I can tell you the, I just, Tell me you'll watch it, you know? But, like, I think, like, the thing about it is, like, I'll give you an example. Um, the 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 biggest thing is there's a child, Brian Peck is a guy who committed SA on Drake Bell, right? That case was there for years. Like, people didn't know who the person was who he did that to. Brian Peck um, is friendly with everybody. He is genuinely, like, a, a nice person to everybody. They go over to his house one day, and he has a self-portrait sent to him by John Wayne Gacy. That went viral recently on Twitter. So um, he's showing them this portrait of John Wayne Gacy, and people are like, that's kind of weird, Brian. But mm -hmm. people have some weird things. It's, it's fine, right? Um, Drake Drake's manager, his father, right, starts to feel suspicious about Brian, the way he's acting around Drake. And he's like, I don't like this guy. And so Brian starts to put into Drake's ear like, hey, your father's stealing your money. All this stuff is happening. This is a problem. Mm. He he then goes to Drake's mom, who's divorced from Brian's father, and says, hey, uh, you know, your son is like, like, like your, your, your son's husband is, no, 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 son's husband, your, your husband, your former husband, I'm so bad at talking. Your ex-husband is, uh, is stealing your son's money and is being a problem, blah, blah, blah. And he tells that to Drake. Drake goes to stay over with his mom. And then uh, his mom calls his dad and is like, hey, Drake doesn't want you to be his manager. And his dad's like, hey, please just keep him away from Brian. Well, Drake's mom lives in Orange County. And Drake's mom doesn't want to drive him to L.A. to do all this stuff. And Drake is still trusting of Brian. So he's like, hey, I'm just going to stay over. Brian's like, hey, you can stay over at my place. I'll come pick you up mm. over the over the times that you're auditioning for stuff. And that is the perfect <laughs> storm of horrible things happen. It doesn't happen once. It happens a lot and if you read oh, the triple wow. court stuff it's horrific the stuff that I, it's the worst possible thing like that you hear like american mm. crime levels of 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 a horror of what this kid had to aye, deal with aye.